How long are you going to keep this up? It's none of your business. It is my business. I've just had to lie for you. You're playing games. No one is playing games. Why don't you just admit it? It's written all over your face. What you saw last night knocked you for six. But you're like some little kid. You can't own up to it. Because that would mean you cared. She doesn't know whether she's coming or going with you. One minute you're the dutiful father. Next you're all masterful and playing games. Oh, grow up. Or maybe you need to find a few games to liven up the bedroom. Oh, so I am right. No, you couldn't be more wrong. See, there's nothing going on in the bedroom. You've got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me you haven't... Well, I know she's pregnant, so maybe the hormones are putting her off. It's not her. It's me. I don't believe I'm hearing this. No wonder she's out there seeking attention. What did you expect her to do? Sit up in bed and it boots? Just leave it, all right? So what did you tell her? Oh, I've got a headache. No, I didn't say anything. See, I haven't slept with Zoe since Sharon left. I mean, you're right. Maybe she does need another bloke. At last. Oh, so, what's a bloke have to do around here to get a drink? What do you want? Some bar manners, eh, Jim? Guess we're not too hot in the service department. All right, all right. Hey, get it. Upstairs, you cool off. Go on, off you go. Sorry about that, lads. Uh, usual, is it? It's all right. Some people can't take a joke around here. 